Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This episode, we'll talk about the virtue of fortitude. Like temperance, fortitude is a word that doesn't specifically appear in the scriptures, but fortunately it's also one of those words that only has one commonly used definition, so there's very little confusion surrounding it. Fortitude is the inner strength needed to face pain, hardship, difficulty, and or danger for the purpose of achieving your goals. It allows us to overcome fear and keep our will strong, even in the face of great hurdles and difficulties. In other words, it's basically courage, not a lack of fear, but the strength to overcome it. There's no denying that fortitude is a good trait. No matter what you may want out of life, you'll be much more likely to get it if you approach it with fortitude. But, like every virtue, it's only a virtue when it's used in pursuit of good goals, never evil ones. Fortitude is the moral virtue that ensures firmness in difficulties and constancy in the pursuit of the good. It strengthens the resolve to resist temptations and to overcome obstacles in the moral life. The virtue of fortitude enables one to conquer fear, even fear of death, and to face trials and persecutions. It disposes one even to renounce and sacrifice his life in defense of a just cause. The Lord is my strength and my song. In the world you have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 1808. If you're using your courage to insist on doing the right thing, it's fortitude. If you use it to insist on doing evil things, it's something else called obstinacy. No matter how brave you are, it's not a virtue unless you plan to do the right thing. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.